Before starting work, you should set your own MEP openings configuration. So you can find opening configurations, then you go to the cut opening, configurations tab and MEP openings configurations. Let's open it. So we have a dialog where all configurations should be set. After you will set your configurations, you can save your configurations, you can duplicate uh, the configurations that are here, you can rename the configurations or you can delete your need not needed configuration. So in the very beginning, we have main settings that should be set before starting the work. So all the parameters uh, will come from the share parameter file that is given the, the cut opening solution or if you need you can use your own share parameter file as well we have the parameters for marking for shape and for elevation so we will use some kind of marking for openings and you have to select the parameter where this marking will be written as well you have to choose the parameter for shape so cut opening will say what shape uh, was used for MEP line based object so you have to choose uh, you have to choose the parameter for shape by clicking on this tab as well we have the parameter for elevation so the cut opening could could calculate the elevation so, so you have to choose so you have to select the parameter where the elevation will be inserted Afterwards, if I will go further, I find the insulation settings for ducts and for pipes. So if you are using some kind of insulation thicknesses in your project, you should create them right here to set your needed configurations for each of these insulation thicknesses. If you need to do such for pipes, you should do the same for pipes. If I will scroll a little bit down on the left side of this dialog, I will find all system classifications and all MEP line based elements types that could be created in Revit. So we have rectangular ducts, round ducts, oval ducts, fire protection pipes, plumbing pipes, sanitary pipes, hydronic pipes, other pipes, cable trays and conduits. And each of these categories could have different configurations so let's go to the other pipes and check what we could set here so we have the marking possibility over there so we can set what kind of marking will be inserted into the opening when it will be inserted into the project so in this case we have po that means pipe hour if if it's needed you can set the same for round opening po as well we have the possibility to cut openings only from some uh, size of the element so i can choose the minimum diameter here to cut the openings uh, in my project we have elevation cal calculation possibilities as well so we can choose how we want to calculate the elevations by two methods we can calculate uh, calculate elevation by the system so you can choose from the calculation from the level from the zero project point or from the global zero point as well you can choose how to calculate according uh, the opening to calculate from the bottom point from the center point or from the top point so you can find that just here as well we have default cut opening offsets so we have different ranges for example from 0 to 25 or from 25 to 50 and we can set different opening shapes for them rectangular or round we can set different cut offsets we can set different additional top and different additional bottom offsets for those elements you can find that in this picture 
If it's needed to create new ranges, you can click on new button and you will create your new elements. Anytime you can choose insulation thicknesses and do the same for different insulations for a pipes or for a ducts. As well, we have possibility to auto join the openings. So if you will go to the next tab, join openings, you will find the same information upwards and you will find insulation thicknesses and you will find the joining openings possibility. So we have the same ranges over there. We have opening shapes. So then you will join the openings. They will be automatically recreated as the rectangular ones. As well, you can set to join or not to join the elements. Then the distances in between openings will be such. You can review the graphical representation of this. The last configuration is interference check. This means that uh, if you want to cut openings when the MEP object do not uh, cross over the wall or the, the ceiling, but you want to cut the openings in such situations, you have to uncheck this checkbox. If you don't want to cut, uh, to cut the openings in such situations, you have to click on this and place the checkbox here. So you need the full interference in such a case. And again, we have the ranges from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. As well, if it's needed, you can do the same steps for all the insulation thicknesses in your project.